Hello and welcome back to MLB The Show 18 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyrant Saber. Last time up, we faced the Las Vegas 51s in our house, and while Jason put in an alright showing, he pitched seven innings and only allowed like, oh, five or six hits, only two runs. Here's the thing, he gave up another two home runs, so this is becoming a bit of a problem going into the month of July. Offers guidance to a developing player. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the goal is to stay ahead of the the batters when it comes to pitch selection. But you know, half the problem is just these guys are jumping all over first pitch a lot of the times, and there's not a, I don't have a heck of a lot of opportunities to limit contact. So I don't know what to tell you. So we're gonna I think we're gonna work on stamina, durability, home runs per nine, that long distance run. All of these things are going to come in handy. Okay, looks like we're headed to rainy Washington for a battle with the Tacoma Rainiers. So let's get it. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the El Paso Chihuahuas and the Tacoma Rainiers. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Alex Alonzo is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's last three starts haven't been that bad, but he's picked up a no decision in all three. I'm sure he'd like to pick up the W in this one here today. In now, Kevin Daly. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. I'm guessing that's not actually how you say his name, Mr. Vaskersian, but what do I know? You're the announcer. I'm just the pitcher man. First pitch, let's go. A breaking ball taken at the knees. It's a little more like it. That's more like what I want to see. Team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. It's got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does this team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You realize that the, the schedule is trying, starting to wind itself down. Every game is more important. The bigger the game, hopefully the better you play. And this team's been playing some really good baseball lately. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, he's going to be very effective in this one. Well, that's the goal at least, but... This one's flared toward left center. Oh. Dang. That was actually a well-executed fastball in to in off the plate. Credit the offensive player. He smelled that coming. Turned and burned. I don't think Juarez could have got to that either way. So. Into the box, Edgar Sandoval lifted in the air to straightaway center. That's just a pop-up. That's just a pop-up. Makes the play one away. It's not a home run. Everybody stay. Everybody calm your jets. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team's starting lineup. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Yeah, Matty, what I want you to focus on is the fact that this team does not like to run. Very station to station. It's going to take a couple of hits to score runs with this offense. They swing the bats well, but they don't put any pressure on the defense as far as base running. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Chet Ellis. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. Revenge of the Rolly Fingers mustache, perhaps? Let's find out. No sooner does no sooner does Mark DeRosa stop talking about how these guys don't like to run the base paths. But you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. Yeah, I see it. Let's drive it. 
no offer on that. Watch your kneecaps, fella. The 2-1 home. Good on the ground to third. Crespo comes up with it. Throw in time. That's what I want to see. Easy well, ground out. Two seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Luis Castro. He that went four. deep in the contest that's last down. night. Luis. A weak lead to the left. Crespo gonna have to hurry. Throw to first. All right, Crespo. The side is retired. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Maybe it just took him a month or two to get hit in the swing of things. Dan Vogelbach is next, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. He said, hopefully, before Crespo gives up two errors and goes 0 for 5. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Started at the front hip and bring it back. Hey, come on now, come on. Here we go. Bouncer to the left side. To his left, Juarez. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Not bad. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up today. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in the fielding percentage. They go about oh, the check it out. A way. They, make they don't have uh, plays, Cordoba a at points. second. And day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. Coming to the plate now, Kirby Carrington, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Kirby Carrington. First pitch on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. Hey, we got one here. Hey, we're pacing up there. And a pitch one in the one. dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Right, come on. Okay, the we'll one try one. that spot. We'll try it your way. Hit on the ground toward the left. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a well, That's kind of why line. I didn't want to throw it there, but... Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. Taylor Motter steps into the box. And she'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Coach, coach, I can't see your signals. Hey, square one up. One time. Run out. One, one home. Boy. There we go. Here we go again. Taking the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. All right, we've done curveball, changeup, fastball, fastball. You want another fastball? Lone inside? Mm, I don't think so. The 1 2 is nope, laid ball. off for ball two. Carrington ball. leads off second with one gun in the now inning. I'm going to try your outside. Line toward the alley and left nope, center. that wasn't. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. Crap. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Into the box now, Rafi Lopez. Yes, he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Let's go, big dog. One and one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. 
One ball and two strikes. Well, you can't take that one outside the park. Going on right now, being late uh, on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. And I don't know what to tell right you. There. And he got him. Bye. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Stepping in now, Charles Fidelia, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Comes into play here at 273. Two home runs and seven driven in. Now the 1 0. Hit hard, but this is a foul ball. Let's fly. Let's go right here. Zero. One and two. Wow. Is the Where were you looking, man? Front there. I'm no hitting expert, but you can't take a swing that's a whole lot more uglier than that one. Chop foul right at home plate. The next one two pitch. Curveball. Yeah. This is badly on a pitch down in the dirt. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. All right, let's pop this showtime and go high inside, see what he does. Nothing. You're doing nothing with it. That's what you're doing. Two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll go now to the top of the third. Tacoma leads it one to nothing. Digging in, Kevin Daly. He reached on a single in his first try. Kevin Daly. First delivery to him on the way. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. The 1 0 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you All might right. not be too familiar Outside with. Fastball. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got that himself ahead in the count. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Right, fastball. Uh, okay. The Try 2 it. 1 home. In the air, down the line, and left. Uh, I think we're okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Puentes ranges deep into the corner to make the catch for the first down. Much obliged. Into the box, Edgar Sandoval. He flew out in his last at bat. Edgar Sandoval. Come on, guys. First offering on its way. A high fastball is in there. To the left side, but it's well foul. Might have been coming after that one. Fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. See if you can get this one inside. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. One out, Problem. nobody on. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go, baby. Heading out toward uh -oh. shallow right. Kirkland is going to get Superman there. saving my bacon is saving the, the day down. as usual. Digging in the switch hitter, Chet Ellis. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Count now a ball and a strike. Come on, big guy. See it up. The 1 1 home. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. 
Have a rip like you okay. can. Here we go now. A curveball low outside. Low inside half. Hard hit towards center. Yeah. It's his first base hit, making one for two now. Nice execution right there. Kept his balance on a nasty breaking ball. His hands stayed back, and he was able to fight it off for a base hit. Good golf in there. How about it? My fielder, Luis. Standing in now, Luis Castro. Oh, oh um. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. The 1 0 home is taken for ball two. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location. Oh dear. To hit. Jason, Outside, come on. 3 and 0 now. All right. Well, this is not looking pretty, so. Here's the 3 0. And that pitch catches the inside one. corner. Plays a one here. Down the third baseline. But Three, two. Wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Yeah. All right. Showtime curveball low inside. Come after this one if you dare. A lot of possible oh, he dares. Kind of play. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. Tacoma's out on top, one to nothing. Digging in, Dan Vogelback. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on its way. Takes a good curveball at the knees. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Yeah, but if I don't the get, up, uh, comes the 0 and 1. I don't get some run support. It's not going to matter. For a strike, this guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why he has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. I can throw eight per, you know, eight pretty good innings, but it's not going to matter because our guys are still down. Executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have gotcha. problems. Gotcha. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number Have a seat, etc. Here in the minors, it's all about honing your skills and getting someone to notice you. Well, I've been noticing this guy on the mound all game long, so I have to think this outing will go a long way towards getting him some good recognition. Right fielder, Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball in for a strike. Carrington, not only a pretty spot. Years old. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Oh, Jason! This is taken for the out. How's your hand, man? That looked like it hurt. <laughs> well done. Stepping up to the plate, Taylor Motter, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. You see? Moving under it, Cordero. Makes Thank you, Franchi. And that'll retire the side. Pretty now just get some runs, man. You got more hits than the other guys. You're just not stringing them together. One to nothing. Into the box now, Rafi Lopez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Rafi Lopez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Hey, let her fly up there, huh? Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Yanked hard, but foul to the right.
go low, outside, change up. Slow little roller to third. And the throw to first. Thank you, Crespo. One gun. Really shaped up recently. Now batting, Charles Bedelia. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Charles Bedelia. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. Mm, he might I even think get I would feel more comfortable with the change up here. Although he's probably going to crush this. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. In now, Kevin Daly. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. And he comes back. That's not where I want that ball to go at all. Fidelia, the runner at second with one away. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. Oh, Jason, come on. Behind now, three and one. Get it together, pal. Let's go low. Fastball. Down the first baseline. Played on the backhand. And he'll take I got the out. For the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 Kept the other guy on the base paths, and that's really all I hope Ready for. now, Edgar Sandoval. He's 0 for 2 Second thus far in this one. Edgar. Now if I can get this guy out. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Oof. Down even now at one and one. Proved it. Ground ball left side. Backhanded. Come on. And they will no. get him at first Crap. as he's able to leg out the throw. You know, Dero as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. Little flare out to left. And that's oh, in there. Geez. Base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, Dero, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. The knock's a knock. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. I think part of what we're seeing here is third time through the order. Oh, blue! Didn't get the call there, but you can't let that bother you. You just have to say, uh, so what? Make another good pitch. Blue, I'm starting to get real tired of your shit here. Ready with the one and one. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a big Bye. strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. Tacoma's out on top, two to nothing. I think that's probably it for Jason. No, they will give Dan him the six. Is next. For He'll what good it's going to do to him. As we begin the home six. Are just shutting us in. out here. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Hey, let's go, kid. One time right here. 
A curveball that catches the inside corner. Really don't want to give you another curveball to the exact same spot. But I will. With the 1 1 pitch. Rounded back up the middle. Juarez is up with it. Throws in. And when it works out like that, it's fine. I just worry about the times where I put it in the same spot and it gets crushed. Digging in to try it again. Kirby Harrington. Right fielder. Kirby. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good nope. change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Hey, wait for your pitch up there, huh? The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Hey. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. Hey, I don't blame him right there. Giving up on that inside curveball, little front hipper. That's a tough pitch. You just can't figure out where the point of contact should be. Second, second curveball. Try to go low outside. From just the about. The 1 1 pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Hits are even at 7 apiece. That change up again. See what you do with it. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. All right. I lose patience with this game of cat and mouse. Come after this one. Hit in the air to center field. Cordero has a beat on it, and that's the second out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Taylor Motter. He's one for two in the ball game. Taylor. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. You know, Maddie, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. Count is one and two now. The one two. One one. First baseline. Two is left. For it. Hey, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Not that it helps us. Quality start, I guess, but we're still losing. Tacoma leads it two to nothing. Richie Castilla gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. All right, you guys, better get some runs on the board. I'll eat the loss if I have to, but like, don't get shut out. Okay, survey says. No, well, it's always been festive on Independence Day in the United States, but what makes the party even more fun is winning in front of your home crowd. Makes those fireworks even more enjoyable. And we Seems got dabbed on, too. Shoot. Score. Tacoma took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Alex Alonzo gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Jason Parham pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Garrett Barker records the save. I'm not satisfied with this. On the year. So that's a Goddamn shutout. Oh well. Until next time, crew, I'm, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I will see you MLB, the at and the ballpark.